Hey, what is going on guys? In today's video, I'm gonna show you how to download, install, and set up the EZFN Season 4 Beta. Now please note that the beta is only on PC. This will be a PC only tutorial. More platform support will come with the full release, but at the moment, you're gonna to have to have a PC. You're going to also need to have a web browser and a Discord account in order to make this work. And we're gonna go over five key steps today, which is gonna be join the Discord and select your role, download the launcher, create an EZFN account and sign in, download the build and configure the build, and then launch the game. And with that, let's get started. Okay, so step number one is going to be to join the EZFN Discord. The fastest way to do this is open up your web browser of choice, type in EZFN Discord, and then you're gonna to wanna to join the OG Fortnite Discord, which is the second result here. So we're gonna click join when this allows me to. Okay, so we'll click the join button here. And then we're gonna click which platform we play on. So in our case, we need to have PC in order for this to work. So we'll click PC, we'll go to next. It's up to you whether you wanna get ping for updates. And then we're gonna set our region. So whatever region is applicable to you. And finish. Okay, so one of the most common mistakes people are gonna make is that they're gonna to go to download and try and download the launcher from here. This is not going to work because this is just gonna download the normal launcher. You need the beta launcher. The way to do this is you're going to Go to Browse Channels and find the Roles channel. Okay, we're gonna click on Roles, and then we need to sign up to be a tester. So we'll click the hammer, which is right here. Then once we click the hammer, we're gonna get access to the Season 4 testing, um, both the general chat and the news channel. This is where you're gonna download the beta launcher from here. So you're gonna download this, and it'll take you to your web browser. Once you've completed the download, you should see the ECFN launcher within your downloads folder. What you're gonna do is double click on that. More info, run anyway. Say yes, and then we're gonna install EZFN. So we'll just click next. The default destination folder is totally fine. Click next, install, and wait for that to install. It should have an option to run EZFN launcher by default, but if for whatever reason that doesn't work, it's very easy. All you can do is just hit the Windows key, type EZFN, and then launch it that way. By default, it should pop open the web browser, which will um, prompt you to log in. If you already have a login, great. If you don't have a login, no worries. Just click sign up. Type in a username, uh, enter your email, and then enter your password. I'm gonna do that right now. By default, it's gonna ask if you wanna open the ECFN launcher, you're gonna to wanna to click the open button, and then it should open up your launcher with uh, yourself logged in. If for whatever reason that fails, uh, for me it took two tries, just uh, close down the launcher, reopen it, and start the process again, and it should work. Now you're gonna be taken to your dashboard, and you're gonna to wanna to go to the downloads folder. In the downloads folder, you'll be able to download two options, season seven and season four. In our case, we wanna play season four, so we're gonna click download. It's gonna ask you to create a custom path. I recommend you make some sort of path to where you can figure out what these files are, as if you start downloading multiple builds and don't name them, it can get very confusing. This computer is very bare bones, so I'm just gonna put it in the documents folder. I'm gonna make a new folder called EZFN season four. Um, and I'm gonna say 4.2 is that is the build uh, version that we're gonna be installing. So that way you can just continue to add more EZFN versions. Um, it depends on how your computer files are set up, but just make it somewhere where you can remember where it is and know what it is. So we're gonna select that folder and then we'll click start the download. Now once the download is complete, it should automatically show up here in a very similar tile to this, but it'll have a play button. If it does not show up in your dashboard, no worries. What you need to do is click already downloaded and then look for your folder that you just made and should contain the Fortnite game and engine folders. So you're just gonna click that and then inside here you should see it. If you do not, something probably didn't go correctly with the download, you may need to try again. Another common issue that I see happen is that um, it'll get stuck at 100%. The same procedure will apply. You'll click already downloaded and then just manually add your folder um, from where you put the EZFN season four folder you just created. Then once that's done, you should see the play button and you'll be able to launch season four and start playing when the servers are on. The servers are not always on um, with the beta, but you can always check the season four um, announcements tab to see what's going on. Um, as you can see, right, there isn't currently an announcement, but when there is one, um, you'll be able to play. And with that, I hope this video was helpful and I'll catch you in the next one.